So we're just on the boat, right? Yeah, we just have got the um, party wagon secured on there. Um, and yeah, you guys, are, you guys are on the boat. It's nighttime. I sleep. Okay. Uh, if everybody's going to sleep, uh, <clears throat> you guys all get a full night's rest. Uh, and you guys are aroused uh, by the sounds of uh, just the... You, you hear Grace shouting orders uh, and stuff kind of... The, the ship kind of coming to life is... Uh, sailors begin, you know, d d lashing things down, checking the ropes, uh, getting things all all settled in. Uh, Scott Yatsen is there uh, <clears throat> at the at the wheel. He's got his fuzzy dice. Uh, <laughs> you guys a little nod as you guys kind of come out uh, onto the deck of the ship. I did forget about the fuzzy dices. Right. Mm -hmm. What do we need to do to help out? It seems like I've already running a pretty tight uh, crew going on. Uh, Grace will see you guys, uh, and she'll kind of wave you over. She's like, hey, <clears throat> help me make sure that all the everything's tied down properly, all the knots secured on the sides. Uh, make sure those we all the crates on deck are, are lashed down. Alright. Should kind of just direct right, you on it. over in a direction. And I will go ahead and do so. As best as my little cobalt hands can. <laughs> uh as the ship is getting ready to take off, um Ibrin and Nyla, is there anything specific you guys are doing? Nothing too specific. Mm -hmm. Nope. The, the usual, you know, like waking up, taking some notes, uh, seeing that people are getting prepared. I think I would like enjoy the breeze, like getting getting myself ready for setting set to sea once more. I absolutely hate it, but it has to be done. Even though I uh, technically I could just sit on my broom. <laughs> And not have to deal with like the seasickness, but um, I think I would just like observe the crew because you know back home there's no such thing as like big ships. So I would like take notes on what they're doing, maybe do a little sketches and like try to learn how they operate and stuff like that. But that's about what I what I would do for the morning. Okay. What about you, Ibrin? Uh, he's just gonna uh, wake up and you know go go up top and like see if there's any little things he can do to help out on the ship. <clears throat> uh, if you if you go up top and uh, offer offer aid, um. Grace will direct you down to the cargo hold. Uh, so just make sure that uh, none of those wagons are going to roll around. Make sure all the brakes are engaged and they're tied down as well. He will do that. Uh, and yeah, as, you, as you go below deck, you'll see all sorts of different wagons. Uh, uh, you know, some, some are nice and shiny. You know, they've got the newest suspension... Others have uh, some nice lights attached to them. Uh, and you see, you know, of course, your guys' party wagon looking, you know, pristine. And, yeah, the wagon guy had kind of given it a little buffer, fixed up a few little paint chips. It's looking real nice. Uh, and before long, uh, you guys will uh, leave port. Begin sailing uh, east. You. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you guys have a, a pretty short voyage, uh, not too long at all. Um, you guys can kind of see the coast almost the entire time. 
uh, as you guys kind of sail uh, across the ocean. Um, <clears throat> and about at the halfway point, uh, something peculiar happens. Mm. Uh, you, uh, you guys roll me a perception check. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's the oh same boy. spot as before. I was gonna ask Steve, uh, do they have like a, a crow nest? They need to like they sit do. and they just do. Yeah. catch There's the the button. There I can't and see. just get like the ocean and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'll be up there. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. The most perceptive. Uh, uh Got you. Holy smokes! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I accidentally dragged my my token onto the map. Can you get rid of that for me? Oh yeah. <laughs> Just a giant Ebron stomping across the the forest over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Damn, that's a lot of twenty ones. That is a lot of twenty ones. Uh, so as you guys as you guys are sitting across, uh, you see, uh, what appears to be sort of like a large fish-like person kind of watching your vessel. Uh, and he's kind of scanning the water. Your guys' eye, like your eyes will connect and it'll kind of give you like a, you see a little fish hand kind of peek out of the water and give you a little wave. Uh, <laughs> and then it leaps out of the ocean and onto the deck of the ship. Um, for you is a little fish man uh, who you guys might remember a Scar. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, you guys Anna, do you remember what, what was this speaks? the fish man? Yeah. That we let go? Yeah. Oh, okay. I have a picture of this guy. Of course I don't. <clears throat> Uh, and as he like, leaps under the deck, in. you guys will see the crew kind of, like, pause for a moment. Uh, and they all kind of begin drawing, uh, like, you, you see several of them draw their weapons, their, their scimitars, cutlasses. Uh, Laren's gonna s start talking to fishmen. <laughs> um. <clears throat> uh. <coughs> I don't remember if it speaks common. What do you say to the fish man? I'm gonna I'm gonna wave at the fish man and say hello. I'll find this guy. And uh, is is everything is everything all right? Uh. So he. Uh, so kind of like in the, in the same moment that you've been talking, uh, Grace has kind of already pushed up, uh, <clears throat> towards it with her weapon drawn, and he starts to talk to it, uh, she'll look at him, she's like, do you, do you, do you know this creature? We've met once before. <clears throat> uh, and should we be weary of it? Um... And I kind of look over at Sire, uh, not Sire, my goodness. <laughs> Varian and Ebrin and uh, Nyla. I think this one should be fine. Uh, he's going to hold up his, uh, his little fish hands. Um, and... I believe you guys used a spell last time to talk to him. Because, uh... <clears throat> Did we? I, th I think we had comprehend languages. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I'll, I'll start making my way down from the Cronus. So you just hear him go uh, like... Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> he's trying, he's trying. He's like frantically looking for the, the hat. <laughs> the hat. Um... 
And yeah, uh, actually, I can. Yeah, I can. I'll use the broom to like swoop down uh, <clears throat> instead of climbing down. That's way more efficient. And is it prepared? Oh, oh, it's it's this thing again. Uh, why why is it back? Why is it I'm, back? I don't know. I can't understand it. I don't know. Well, I ten minutes. And that that's what I need. Ten minutes to to cast the spell. It's it's all I ask for, so people so people can <laughs> actually lower their weapons if if that's okay. Uh, the crew will kind of hesitantly. Look, they're going to look to the captain, uh, who Yatsen will kind of just shrug. You see a kind of look of curiosity in his eyes. Uh, the, the crew will put away <laughs> their weapons. Um, <clears throat> Grace is like, all right. Uh, uh, I, I, I guess it, uh, we'll we'll take you to the quarters. So he's out of the way. Uh, That'd be fine. Yes. So she'll kind of usher you guys uh, off the deck. The whole time the fish man is like gesticulating. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> he's so chatty. <laughs> uh, and yeah, you guys, you guys are, you guys are <laughs> just get shown to your quarters because he yeah. sort of drips over everything. And as I'm walking, I'll be browsing the spell book and start working on the ritual. Okay. Uh, he sees you sort of. Uh, kind of starting to work your magic, and he'll, he'll kind of quiet down for a little bit. <clears throat> um, yeah, <clears throat> he, he he'll he'll just kind of sit, wait patiently uh, until until you're able to cast it. Yeah, uh, I'll post it in the chat. And for I think we did that last time for simplicity. Can we just like be able to understand it instead of me having to repeat every word you say? Oh yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, well, just assume that you know Nyla, whenever he says something, she repeats. Okay. Cool. Uh, so he's he'll just once he, he kind of just like waits for you to to kind of give him some sort of gesture to 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 start speaking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, whenever the the spell goes off, I'll I'll raise my hand once more as a you know polite salute and uh. Do they understand what I'm saying? I kind of forgot. Uh, he can understand you guys. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> I'll just say uh, it's, it's it's been a while. I, I'm kind of surprised you found our boat of all things. I'm surprised you knew we were on this boat. Uh, I've been my people have been keeping watch, uh, <clears throat> uh, looking for for you guys, sort of just by chance. <clears throat> that I saw you, uh, we have warning. Uh, uh, it, he's he's mad, very mad at you. Uh, they're 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 searching. Be careful. And who's he? That's a that's a real question. Kind of just do like a big grand gesture. Uh, <laughs> it, the 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 great evil one. Oh. Don't know what happened, uh, but uh, many earthquakes, uh, many of our cities gone. Very angry. It's kind of surprising they're harassing you from, even though you're at the bottom of the sea. Uh, he knows. Uh, you let me go. Seems like he knows everything, doesn't he? Uh, the fishman will kind of uh, nod. Hey, Wait, do you so, know? so who is who is he? The fishman? No, the he he's talking about. Uh, who is this? Who is this he? The the the, the titan, the, the the guy that that broke out of Tartarus. Zeros. And you say, and he's destroyed many of your cities. Uh, fishman will nod. Well, I mean, considering what we saw, that's not surprising. Hmm. We're sorry that you uh, were involved in 
all of this. I'm sorry for your people. <clears throat> uh, it, great tragedy. Uh, but if if you continue uh, to fight back, perhaps there's hope. Mm. Well, that is what we plan on doing. We just hope we just don't know. Uh, we do have an idea of what direction to go. We just don't know how much further we'll have to go to bring it into all this. So kind of give like a solo nod uh, and then go many, uh, uh, m many, many bad ships, many bad ships out there looking uh, to stop you. Uh, should they find you uh, in the seas? Well, well, we'll have to take that risk. Our journey on the ship is thankfully a short one, and hopefully it passes without incident. Good. Uh, I have people who will follow ship just in case. We do. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Do you have a a refuge, a safe place where you and and your people can take shelter and hide away from the Titan. Uh, yes, we have we have a few. Uh, so far, uh, has not been able to find us. Uh, that that is that is all uh I, I came to tell i must get going of course of course can can i have them see that you're here and then get you even more troubles um <clears throat> you you spared my life once uh i owed you just be careful on the seas. We should we should be okay. I I'm I'm sure we'll be okay. Also, sorry about throwing you overboard like I did last time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it it's okay. Uh, I I belong in the water anyway. Good good for the scales, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we're friends now, so. He kind of gives you like a little toothy smile, or sorry, a little fishy smile when you say that. <laughs> Alright, well. Uh, hopefully we can meet again someday, but if not, then, then stay safe and Take care of yourself and your kin. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Uh, and with that, he'll, he'll kind of like start to, to get up, uh, get ready to, to disembark the ship. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure you make sure. Yeah. He'll do a, a beautiful swan dive over the side of the ship, uh, back down into the waves. The crew will kind of look at you guys uh, a little oddly, uh, but nobody nobody says anything to you guys about uh, what just transpired. <laughs> is Todd there? Todd is Scott. Todd, the captain. Oh, Scott. Todd it's, yes, it's Scott. Scott. Oh yeah, Scott. Is Scott there? Yeah, yeah. Scott. Scott's manning the helm. He's kind of been watching he, you guys he, with like a, a very curious look in his eye, but he hasn't said anything. Uh, so Ebron will like climb the stairs to where Scott is. Uh, and he'll give you a little nod. Um, <clears throat> oh god, I don't remember what his voice was. 
Was it real <laughs> smug? It was real, real, real smug. It was, was it real nasally, too? I feel yeah. like... Aren't, like, 70% of your voices nasally? Yeah, I've only got a few, you know? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> and I can't keep them all straight. Oh, no, just give him a new one. Uh, he's like, uh, <clears throat> uh, you keep, a uh, you, you keep, a uh, interesting, uh, uh, bunch of friends there, uh, Mr. Ebron. Ebron to, like, put his arm around, around Scott. Uh, listen, Captain, Captain Yatsen. So we're gonna level with you, or I'm gonna level with you. I... We're not just we're not just uh, simple wagon folk taking our wagon from Okeanos to the mainland. We've been we've been tasked with an important mission by the the king and the heads of church themselves by the king you say I met the king yeah yeah <laughs> the king oh. rumor has it nobody's seen him in quite a while oh like the people oh he passed it on to some people and they <laughs> passed it on to us you know how it is <laughs> <laughs> there's like an indirect indirect thing Oh, obviously, we haven't seen the king ourselves either. And, and, and but the state in general, an important mission from the heads of state and church. Mm -hmm. Okay, go on. I'm sure you've heard the rumors of all the goings on, mysterious cultists and whatnot, uh, raiding villages and attacking innocent townsfolk and all sorts of peculiar th things happening uh, I see. Yeah, well I, I do hear uh, many a many a tale uh, you know spending most of my time at uh, poor towns information does tend to travel quite regularly right. through there you're not a you're not one of them cultists are you us no we hate cultists around here just ask this one and he'll point to nyla <laughs> <laughs> i i i'll take out my doodles my my little sketchbook and i present the the doodle i made of like the giant monkey crushing someone in like purple robes so we we do hate cultists as you can see here this is my um my next plan of attack <laughs> <laughs> this is also this is also Ebron's first time seeing this notebook, and he's just gonna like scratch it, scratch his head in confusion. Yeah, you know, the captain kind of raises his eyebrows real high, and he's just like, "Oh, that's uh, how good is this drawing? How good is it, Nyla is draw at drawing this shit? <laughs> it's like equivalent to like a ten-year-old mm. type of drawing. It's like, uh, yeah, that's um, uh, very nice. <laughs> yes." <laughs> mm -hmm. They don't. They actually don't stand a chance. Trust me. Trust me. I, I would show you a demonstration, but I don't think they both can handle that. So maybe, <clears throat> maybe we're, once we're back on shore. Uh, demonstration of you drawing or? No, no. I'm like keeping eye contact with him and like tapping my finger on the monkey. Yeah. This. Now. Did you guys smuggle? You smuggled the monkey on board this ship. <laughs> and he's, he's gonna get like a little upset now. No, no. there's no monkey. Not yet. <laughs> oh no, lord. Now there better not be no monkey here on the yachts, and well, I won't put no. up with any monkey business on my ship. <laughs> Why do, do you not like monkeys? Uh. <clears throat> I just, you know, I, I transport wagons, not not animals. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he's gonna kind of like backtrack. He's like, well, I mean, oh, uh, wild animals. Right. Of course. Of course. Well, no worries. There's there's no there's no monkey to be seen here. 
I'm just gonna kind of like eye you suspiciously. <laughs> <laughs> you see him sort of gesture for one of the other, like ship, the one of the crew members, and he kind of like whispers some to me, and you're like, you, you briefly hear like, like double check the cargo <laughs> 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 for monkeys. Uh, the, the crew member will like hastily go down below deck. Yeah, I just have like that <clears throat> very bratty smug as he's like, "Look here, you sent someone." I just, I know there's none on, on board that I do enjoy the the idea that they're wasting time looking for for a monkey. Uh, and so he'll he'll kind of like train his eyes back on Ebron here, and he's like, "So, uh, on a mission, you say, from, from the church and state?" Yes. Uh. So basically, why I bring it up is because we, obviously, we, you know, intend to disembark at Arbington. Hopefully the journey, you know, is, is short and uneventful, but just know that there there are those who seek to, uh, they, these, these vile cultists are, are very much aware of us, you know, and the mission we're on and there, there is a chance that they might seek to to disrupt us intercept us here at sea and as the captain of this vessel i just wanted to let you know of the, of the possibility of danger and we of course will uh, be here to defend you and your and your crew and cargo if something does happen this, this man's world is like falling apart right now <laughs> it's just like you're so what i where who have i let on my ship you're telling <laughs> me that i i've been i'm putting my entire ship my crew in danger just because you guys needed to transport a wagon we didn't know either you Oh, it kind of sounds like you guys knew. He's gonna like slam his fist down on the wheel. Now, Captain, listen. You are are, are clearly a a man of great, you know, reputation. With a, a a ship as impressive as yours and a uh, image as as impressive as as yours, obviously, you know your your ship. In Okeano stood out as the uh, most Im impressive and uh, glittering and magnificent of them all. Think of this. Uh, think of this is your opportunity to expand even beyond that and become known not only for you know the 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 quality of your of your cargo and you know the expert your expertise on the seas but also of you know becoming known as someone who played a direct role in you know save protecting the realm from this threat think think of the reputation that might be attached to, that might come with something like that i feel like this is the fantasy equivalent of a tiktoker being like i'll pay you with exposure <laughs> hey we already yo we already paid him <laughs> he, he, he already, man. we already gave him money <laughs> he's just gonna look at you and he's like yeah you know <clears throat> that's all fine and dandy but once people hear that we aided you what kind of trouble is going to come knocking on our our door? Who's to say that well, these cultists find out that we gave you safe passage uh, they and they take they it out on the yachts? Well, they don't... No one will have to know until after the fact. We'll quietly disembark in Arbington and go on our way and you can continue on your voyage. Hello, Happy. How are you doing today? Or whatever you do, you can con you can conduct your business as usual. As long as you guys 
uh, take quick leave when we when we hit port. <clears throat> we'll, we'll even we can even wait until nightfall to uh, remove the wagon. That sounds good. I don't want to be wrapped up in any sort of this this nonsense. He's gonna get like kind of like shiver to it's like just have like this feeling of like bad omens. <clears throat> What's your guys' passive perception? Uh uh not good. I don't know. Where do you see passive perception again? Under your skills. Above your language. Underneath your skills, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Passive. Passive was the 17. 15. Oh, that's, all right. That's, that's high enough. Yeah, you guys will. As you guys are having this talk with the captain, uh, you guys will kind of. You, you'll hear like a, a shipboard creak. Uh, and it appears somebody's, like, listening, like, right below, uh, <clears throat> there's, like, the helm, like, up top, and then, like, the, the main deck, uh, and you, you hear, like, a couple barrels move, and you see a shadow kind of, like, recede down the stairs, uh, below deck. I am following that shadow. Okay. Uh, as you go below I'm, deck... I'm jumping over, I'm jumping over the railing and following the shadow. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you cool. jump down. You'll see a few of the sailors on, on the main deck, kind of like stop to look at you to see what's happening. Uh, I see you like dart down the stairs, uh, and as you run down the stairs, uh, you'll kind of bump. In there. You see several people down here. Um, some of them seem to be like coming out of their quarters, like just waking up for shift change. Others are are uh, looks like they're <clears throat> just doing checks or heading. Uh, you're grabbing a bite to eat. Hmm. Hmm. As you're kind of down the stairs surveying the scene, you'll feel a hand kind of um, come down onto your shoulder uh, and give you like a little squeeze. Uh, and it's uh, it's Grace. She's like, uh, I'm sorry, but what 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 is going on here? So you jumped down from the railing. You you said you've been on a ship before. That's not necessarily the safest way down. I. Thought I. Hmm. We were talking with the captain. I heard some odd noise, and somebody dart down the. Thought I saw somebody dart down the stairs. We're uh. Hmm. Maybe it's something I need to worry about. She'll look at you, kind of curiously, and what would you have been talking about that would warrant such a response to somebody uh, hearing what you were saying? Just our journey, you know. Uh, she'll, she'll remove her hand from your shoulder. Um, kind of like, hmm. And head back up uh, to the main deck. Mm. Uh, well, that's going on. The captain will kind of look at you guys up top and be like, "What? What? What? What is she doing? Why did? Why? Why did she jump down like that? Is she easily spooked." Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh... <clears throat> who knows who knows maybe she forgot something back down there who knows i'm sure it's fine i'm sure it's fine yeah it's a good way to twist an ankle <laughs> she'll be fine N nimble little thing <laughs> <laughs> well you have given me much to to think about and i i guess uh to worry about as well um <clears throat> if 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 there unless you have anything else to add, I'd I uh, need to get back to 
keeping us on course. Of course, of course. You you do your thing. Um, and I'll look up at at Varian. I think Varian's around. Unless he's off somewhere. Hello. Hello. Um, Varian, I, me and Azelnaut are getting a, a little tad boring. There's not much to do on board. They have like a, a dart board, but well, I've been catapulting darts at it, and it is not as fun as it as I thought it would be. Um, <laughs> well, that's you're not supposed to use magic for it. You're supposed to like use your hands and physically throw it. I'm not touching that. Um, yeah, fair. I I thought of a I thought of a game we could do as I pull out Hazelnut and look down at, at the little weasel <laughs> in my hands, like holding it like both hands. Hazelnut, I you need you need to trust me for a bit. Uh, I I promise it's gonna be a great time. Hazelnut starts shaking her head. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? This sounds Why does Hazelnut look nervous? Sure. It's like sh visibly shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of us should be excited for this game. <laughs> and she's gonna look up at at Vary with just like <laughs> pleading eyes. I well, it, I uh, I'll I'll put out my my little sketchbook and present a little doodle, which is like a big lion man that tosses a weasel. As hard as he can before it reappears next to him. What? You know, you could be this like, taking to the like sky. Shooting for the dogs out of the cannons and see a thief. Exactly, but it comes back instantly. That's not very entertaining to me. It's <laughs> <laughs> like just squirming in your grass right now. <laughs> And I, I am bored, and I require entertainment. <laughs> um, do you want to do it, Azel? Not or not? <laughs> I don't think I want to be thrown, Nyla. Why not? It's not like you're gonna hit the water or hit anything like that. Yeah, Nyla. Good entertainment is pie. Pie, perfect entertainment. That is not entertainment. But we eat pie. We throw like frisbee. You're going back in the bag. <laughs> just he helps as you shove the bag. <laughs> just like, <laughs> go down and like attack the strap. <laughs> All right, never mind. I I take it back. There's this little weasel not not quite not quite entertaining as I thought it should be. I thought I thought she would love being like you know it's like it's like throwing up a child up and down and they're having a great time, but. This one's being thrown by a giant lion <laughs> towards the sea. Towards the sea. about the same, if not more exciting. I would. I, I would do it. Would, if I could get a boat back. Do you want? Look, do you want me to throw you? No. Over the ship then. No, it's not the <laughs> same. It's not quite the same distance as you would throw a weasel, is it? There's only one way to find mm. out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, where'd that voice come from? I take it back. Uh, how about how about I show you actually how you're supposed to play darts? And yes, because there's a couple of variations of games and whatnot that you can oh. do to kind of make it challenging. And I, I thought and that was only bullseyes, and that's it. <clears throat> no, there's a um, couple different rules. There's some things like. Technically, you can consider like X01, depending on like how high of a score you want to go. Usually, it's like 301 or something like that, where you have to hit like the edge of the board to double in, then you have to like double out. It, it depends on the house rules and whatnot. There's uh, a whole bunch of other different games as well. I think it's like a is it Shanghai, I believe, was one, and uh, a couple others as well. I'd, I'd be interested. As long as you clean the darts first, I don't know who touched them before we, we showed up, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure they have some uh, rubbing alcohol and some <laughs> um, wipes around that we can use. Don't you have magic to do that, Nyla? I don't. Want, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> the mug. Oh, today's mug. Uh, all right. Yeah. yeah little, this one's. This guy's a little different. You. It's just a clear glass uh, guy. Games. Um, it's empty. Probably finish up my shift here on uh, 
on the deck and then they're mostly empty. Show you. That is um, fine. That's I can show you you and Ibrin. It's a uh, birthday gift. I, I, I can show all of us. Okay, let's have ourselves a little game night and then whoever isn't uh, currently working and whatnot, we can just kind of have uh, some of the play talks with uh, throughout the journey. That sounds that sounds pretty pleasant. I'll I'll Pinky I'll up kind down. of mug. Always uh, been, always, always got pinky up. You, you take your time. You take your time. Alright. Um I'll practice. No, we're not using magic though. Without magic. Okay. Right, I'll let uh, everyone else know. Where's Ellery? Where did she I I mean I saw her jump down and run, but do you think it's probably taking too long to get back up here? I don't know. Just feel free to go check on her if you want. I'm, I'm gonna go do that. I I don't have a bad feeling. I'm gonna head out. Stay of Yes. Can I roll like either investigation or perception? Uh, yeah. It just depends on what you're. What like? What are you looking for? Uh, I, I don't know to like try to figure out like a, a color that I would have seen. I know you said it was just like a shadow, but I doubt even if there were purple robe figures on the boat. I mean, I would hope they'd be smart enough to like blend in, but you know, they haven't so far, as far as we know. Um, you weren't able to perceive any specific color when you saw them dart down, um, but if <clears throat> uh, you could roll, I, I guess, investigation, maybe? Like, see if, I don't know. I don't know what I would see down here, but I guess to see what I can try to see. I don't know. We'll try it. Nope, that's a 15. Okay. Uh, and with a 15, uh, you know, you kind of just see uh, sailors kind of going through, the, you know, through their day. Um, <clears throat> a couple mm. of them kind of look a little nervous, like that you kind of just appeared so quickly uh, and had this little, like, chat with uh, Grace. And they kind of give you, like, um, like, a little space as they kind of go around you. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Thank you for the hydrate, Wolf. Your, uh... um, I'm just gonna walk back upstairs. Okay. Let me see the. Dude, I debated when you said there was a hand on my shoulder. I was, I almost said I'm gonna put my hand straight on my dagger, <laughs> but I didn't do it. And I'm glad that I didn't at this Would moment. Have made things spicy. It would have. Okay. Uh, so it sounds like Lila and Varian are gonna go play darts. Uh, after after the conversation with our little fish buddy, Eden's just gonna like hang out up on deck. As you as you kind of hang out on keep, deck, keep an keep an eye out on things. Every now and then you'll see like a a fish man kind of like noggin like a <clears throat> intruder's word. You, you see that it looks like there's a few of them kind of like following alongside the ship. The, the zebra and he like because he knows to like look for he knows that they're there, so he's he kind of like notices them a little, mm -hmm. and he's gonna like. Give him, give him like a wink. Don't wink at him. Yeah, you'll see a little fish eye wink back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's just gonna keep an eye on things. Uh, as you guys kind of descend uh, down from where uh, Scott is, you'll see him kind of have like a hushed conversation with Grace. Uh, <clears throat> Um, they kind of like look around and make sure nobody can hear. Uh, 
and uh, and she kind of goes about her day. You'll notice she's kind of keeping an eye on you as she goes about her business. Keeping an eye on me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like smi- even just kind of like smiles awkwardly at her <laughs> and like nods and gives a little wave. <laughs> She'll give you a very awkward wave back. Uh, what is what is uh what's Aller doing right now? No, I was just gonna head back up and see if there was anything else I could do on the ship. Um, and probably bump into Varian on my way up. Yeah. Oh yeah, you definitely bump into him. Um. Are you uh, right? Did anything happen? Um... Did you see who it was? Or... <laughs> or what? What was happening? Um, uh, don't worry about it. I mean, I, I'm going to kind of pull Varian aside. I doubt there's too many people around at the moment, but, um, somebody was listening in on our talk with the captain or something. I don't know. I thought I saw a shadow, thought I'd follow it. Couldn't figure it out. Um, so, yeah. Oh. Okay. I don't well, know. Good to know that there's possibly someone wanting to kill us on the boat. Got it. Yeah, sounds great. Um, need to keep our eyes and ears peeled now. Understood. Um... Mm-hmm. And then Grace just, like, showed up behind me. She's pretty swift on the boat. I mean, that that does kind she, of happen. I mean, as, as she should be. Uh, if you're on the boat and kind of like the second hand here, kind of first mate, there we go, that's the word. God, it's been a while since I've been on the boat. We've been on wagon for so long, and I haven't needed to use any terminology. I've kind of been, like, away from my mind. But, yeah, if yeah. you're in that kind of position, yeah, you come to be. Yeah, just uh, keep an eye out. Mm. Okay. Oh, um, probably, uh, probably later today. Um, Nyla, uh, and I, I just need to go find Ebern and talk to him, see if he would be okay with this. But we're planning on having uh, some learning some games of uh, darts uh, later on, which would be interesting. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. Brands. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I'll need to go find Ibrin then, make sure that he is aware and he uh, is able to join. Um, yeah. Okay, but you're you're okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, I'll keep my eyes and ears out and uh, see you at darts then, and uh, yeah. I turn and I walk back up uh, up to the deck. Okay. Uh, the rest of this day will kind of go by uh, without really any incident. Um, the only notable change is Grace stops giving you guys things to do on the boat. And if you guys go and check in with her, she'll say that everything's fine. Uh, and just kind of brush you guys off. Okay. Guess it starts time then. Where's Ebron? Ebron! Yeah. Well, there you are. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play a couple games of darts with, uh, uh, Nalan, Alan, and myself? Yeah. Darts? Yeah. Have you ever played darts before? Oh, not in a long time. Yeah. On a very long time. Uh, Would you like to? Sure. We, we probably won't get attacked by things in We're... just a couple of games of darts, right? We'll be fine up here, right? 
Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, while we're playing darts, we are all equipped with uh, weapons that could stab things. So we're, we're technically still prepared in a, in a sense. True. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have to be too long. We could just do a couple games and we can always kind of rotate and keep our eyes out. Sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Apron? You're kind of freaking me out right now. I understand there's a lot of shit happening, but... <laughs> no, it's fine. Are, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I guess just after the conversation with our friend, I've been wanting to keep an eye on things up here. You know, obviously I can't but I, I can't contribute much as a as a member of the crew, but figured I could at least lend another pair of eyes. See if well. anything anything Jesus Christ. comes up, but hey, Lord. I think I'm not I. Huh? Okay. But, um, yeah. I mean, still. I'm sure. Everyone still has a shift to rotate around. You don't sure. need to exhaust yourself. Sure. I would say. I'd love to play darts. Let's go. Let's take a break, and then we can come I back use a and make sure. I could use a drink, also. Absolutely. 100%. Drinks are happening. All right, let's go. So I just grab uh, <laughs> grab Alan and we just I, three of us. Okay, go. we go onwards. Shall I put a little fist out? Like we go. Okay. Yeah, you guys all meet kind of like a little like wreck area. Um and play some play some darts. Oh sweet. Hell yeah. Have some drinks, have some darts. Um, before you guys know it, uh, night is upon you. <clears throat> During the day, Steve, would I notice if, like, the vibe is different around the crew? Are they, like, acting a bit more, like, cautious or suspicious or avoiding uh, us, that type of stuff? So, yeah, after you guys is, like, conversation with the captain, uh, yeah, you, as, as the kids say, the vibes are, the, are off. Yeah, not, not, definitely much different. Hmm. I don't know. Mm, I don't know why they're acting this way. I I can't wait. I actually I can't wait to get off this boat. I I don't know. Feel itchy. I don't like. I don't like being on board of, of around these people anymore. I I'll actually be sleeping uh, in the party wagon tonight. I'm not comfortable with the idea of being around them whatsoever. The darts is pretty fun. I do enjoy darts. Good times. Do you want to be alone in the party wagon? That's fine. I, I, I'll i have these or not. Okay. I think we can lock the doors of the party wagon, if I remember right. I, I could be wrong. You know, I don't remember what we settled on is like the final, like, what? Because in my mind, it's been a covered wagon this entire time. But I don't think it is. Is it? I thought it was like a, a two doors wagon with like two seats facing each other type of thing. <laughs> like a carriage. It is. It's a, sta it's a stagecoach, Steve. Is it with okay? Yeah, it's been, it's a stagecoach with, with well, doors. With that's two, why like, we were able two... to hang out the window. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it has like two. So it's completely enclosed and has like two seats facing each other and like a door on the side and you can open the window. I see. I do wish I could summon the tower, but that's not quite an option right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
but thank you for the game of darts. I I did learn quite a bit, and I I think I'm improving. But for tonight, I think I'll I'll just enjoy myself some rations and get some sleep in the wagon. Don't you have your own room? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was like a like a sleeping area with like a bunch of sleeping cots or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But the party wagon will do. That's fair. I'll be casting alarm on every ten. <laughs> That's very fair. But with that said, I I'll be heading out. If you need me, while you you know where to find me, and I'll, I'll grab my my things. Make sure that Hazelnut is in the bag, or if she's around, I'll stuff her in there and um, make my way to the wagon. Is it like <laughs> I'm assuming it's easy to find, like in a cargo hold or whatever? Oh yeah, and there's 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 like quite a few. There's several wagons down here, but yeah, your guys' sticks out. Oh sweet, I'm I'm taking a peek inside, making sure that. I actually can I roll an investigation to see if anyone like searched it, yes, or tampered with the the wagon mm -hmm. as I open the door and take a cool look inside. Uh, okay, with a fourteen, uh, you're kind of like looking around inside and you see a small patch of ripped fabric, uh, that is a very familiar shade of purple. Looks like they got caught on like the corner of one of the seats. Mm. Um, taking out hazelnut, I'll bring her up ah. and say, <laughs> "All right, hazelnut, I need you to fetch someone. Either, of course, Alarin, Varian, Ibrin, whoever it is. I look at this. Look at this right there. Look at it. It's this <laughs> fabric. She's gonna look at it." She it looks soft. No, well, that's not the point, but someone was here. Yeah. And I don't want to run off and fetch someone, only to come back and it's not there anymore and they call me crazy. I'll keep guard of this evidence as you fetch someone. Uh, she'll give you, like, a little, like, you know, her little, like, salute. It's like, you got it, Nyla. You can count on me. All right, <laughs> if anything goes wrong... Just tell me if anything, if anything, anything is going bad. Just, just call me, okay? And I'll let her go. And she, you, know, you see her take off. <laughs> um. And yeah, you, you see her scamper off, kind of like goes up the stairs. Uh, how, how do you? I forget. Can you? Do you guys communicate telepathically? Yeah. It's up to 100 feet, I believe. Oh, that's quite a ways. <clears throat> um, so yeah, she scampers off, and then shortly after, in your head, you hear like a little yelp. Oh. <laughs> I'll try to dismiss Hazelnut. Uh, yeah, you, you feel like that. <clears throat> you feel her be dismissed. And if I summon her back, is she, is she, does she return? Yeah, she'll be, she'll be there. I'll pick her up again. <laughs> her eyes are like what wide. That, what was that about? I, I, I was running to go find Pie Man. Mm -hmm. uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, I, I, I think I was in a bag. <laughs> it was stuff, very dark. Someone stopped in a bag. Have you seen who did that? Did not. Uh, uh, no, I, I, I didn't see it. Just w I was running, and then boom, dark. I'm very used to being shoved into bags, so I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it was a bag. I bet mm. the bag wasn't as comfortable as mine, however. But... Mr. Stuffles was not in this bag. I did not like it. Oh, right, we'll, we'll try this again. <laughs> we'll try this again, Hazel Nut. But this time... I have to go again? This time, you have to go again, but this time... You have... Uh, you, you'll have <coughs> more of my help. And I'll... Wait, so close. So. <laughs> Somebody tried to kidnap the weasel. <laughs> I'm putting her down and I'm casting haste oh. on Hazel now. You see Hazel like. Wait, she... wait, so just just to clarify, so 
<clears throat> Nyla went down into the storage where the wagon is to sleep there and found a scrap of cloth. Yes. Okay, so she's down Spraying. there alone. With mm -hmm. his, his and I refuse okay. to leave in case I go fetch someone, come back, and it's not there anymore. So I'm sending Hazelnut to go fetch someone for me instead. You, you cast Ace, you see like Hazelnut, like like couple stretches, so kind of like bounce in place, and then she like shoots off. <laughs> uh, and before you know it, she's like, "I, I, I found Pie Man." Uh, and Varian, you, you feel uh, a little, little teeth biting your, biting your hand. Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh, oh! Hello! Hi! Hi! Uh, um, like pounce up on on your chest and like look at you straight in the eyes. Are you on my form of drugs? What's happening? Uh, and once she sees that you're awake, she'll like hop down on the floor and like start running around in circles and then like zip out the door. And if you don't follow her, she's gonna run, like zip back in and like r <laughs> just rinse and repeat. <laughs> Wait, where where is Varian? Are Varian are Varian and I still hanging up below decks, or is this like afterwards? I I I don't know why, but I figured everybody was asleep. I forgot to ask what everybody was up to. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Are you guys are either that, or you guys are getting ready? Are you guys getting? Uh, you, either, regardless if you guys are like awake and hanging out, she sort of like repeats this like, like come in like nibble at at Varian and then like sip out of the wherever you guys are. Yeah, uh, well, you've been just wa sitting watching this happen. <clears throat> do, even do you think that that's of importance? Uh well. It, Jesus it seems Christ. like it is. Hey, what are you saying, Ibn? Sorry. It's, yeah. Apologies. <laughs> it seems like. It seems like she's trying to get your attention. Do you think we should all go, or do you think it's just only one? Well, she's not with Nyla, so Nyla's somewhere. I hate how quiet you are sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna Best. lie. It scares the shit out of me. You're welcome. It's best we all go. All right. I've been getting... There's... Weird vibes. Yeah. I'm sorry, weird I didn't want to be alone tonight, so I just like, you know... The way some of the crew have been glancing at us ever since we came on board. I think it's best if we all go together. Not even since we came on board. Since we had the talk with the captain. Hmm. Or, it's, yeah. All right, well. All right, let's go chase after the cocaine weasel. <laughs> so, yeah, so sit back <laughs> in and, like, start doing circles around your feet and kind of, like, nipping at your heels to get you to, like, start moving. Please don't do, don't bite my Achilles tendon. Otherwise, I will not be walking. <laughs> uh, while this is happening, Nyla, <clears throat> you hear a figure approaching you, uh, kind of in the dark. Um, uh, um, I'm casting light on the carrot, and I'm turning to face the figure, and if they're like behind or whatever. Uh, as you kind of, a, you know, you, you cast a spell and then the room is kind of like flooded with this light, uh, you'll see that it is Grace. <clears throat> mm. Ah, I didn't think anybody <clears throat> would be down here. What, what, brings, right. what brings you down here so late at night? Uh, you, you, you know, just checking, just checking in the wagon. Not that I don't trust your crew or anything like that. Just, you know, it, we spent a lot of money on it and I, I kind of missed it. You know, it's basically named after me, the Blazing Bunny. Hmm. Uh, it's like my prized possession. Ah, uh, yes, I, I, I bet you're uh, very proud of that. It is a very fine wagon. Right. Uh, but you, you shouldn't have to worry. We transport many a wagon, and we haven't lost one yet. I'll I'll be on my way soon. It's just you know I'm dumping some of my belongings in there. Just don't plan on on going to bed with those. So I I'm just 
Yeah, that's wizard mm. stuff. <laughs> I can't say that I, I know too much about, um, how did you say, wizard things? W wizard stuffs? Wizard wizard related things, yes. Let's see. Well, uh, I, I'm just down here doing a routine check, so uh, I suppose I can keep you company. You are more than welcome to do so. Uh, and she'll, um, <clears throat> she'll kind of like pull out like a little, uh, little clipboard. Uh, and she's going to kind of start like checking in on all the wagons, making, making little notes, checking to make sure everything's tied down nice and tight. I'm keeping an eye on her, but making sure like, you know, that my back is covered. I'm very, very visibly like jumpy, I guess. Hmm. Uh, and uh, she'll kind of stroll over to your wagon, and she's like, "Ah, this one's this one's next." Uh, and so I mean, you do, you you don't have you don't have to you know do anything about the wagon whatsoever. No, no, no. Now, I wouldn't be doing my job if I mm. didn't if I just skipped over some of the thing goods we're transporting. Well, you see, the issue is that I believe someone went into my wagon Somebody without permission. Went into the wagon? Went into the wagon, that's right. <clears throat> well, what makes you think that? Um, evidence that I'm, I'm waiting for uh, more people to arrive to confirm and, um, so, and witness, of course. And I'm not willing to share it until they arrive. Well, if somebody's tampering with, <clears throat> you know, uh, things that we're transporting, I have the right to know. You'll know when they arrive. Uh, she's going to kind of, like, stare at you. Um, kind of, like, start to think a little bit. Uh, she'll just kind of like, all right, well, I suppose I'll wait here with you then. That is perfectly fine. I do not mind whatsoever. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> so you guys are following down uh, uh, Hazelnut. Mm -hmm. Is it the whole group or? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. <clears throat> as you guys kind of make your way down, um, <clears throat> uh, and you kind of like stumble over this like empty potato sack. Hmm. It's kind of like left on the stairs. Or to the side of it, sort of. Uh, and, and, uh, he's not gonna, like, continue to zip down. Uh, and, and Nyla, in your head, you'll hear, I, I, I got him, Nyla, I, I got him! The Pie Man's here. Uh, are they, like, here, or, like, still on the way? Well, we're, we're, we're on the way, we're on the way. He's very slow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> She's like zipping around in circles. <laughs> Look, if you keep going around my feet, I'm going to step on you, please. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys you guys have actually stumbled down into the cargo hold. Is uh, is it still light in there now? Uh I would assume that uh you still have light cast? Oh yeah, I do have like a light, okay. a pleasant light blue coming from uh, the carrot. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you guys it's very comforting. See, uh, Grace and and Nyla standing by your guys's uh, uh, party wagon. Oh, oh, there you are, there you are. Um, have you came across anyone on the way, perhaps? Other than an empty potato sack, nope. Yeah, I'm, I'm simply asking because someone tried to snatch uh, hazelnut when they were making our way to you. What? Mm. They tried to kidnap my weasel as I like look over to to Grace. <laughs> you just see you <clears throat> you just see uh, you guys see like hazelnut just nodding but very fast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was an empty potato sack. I left the potato sack. Uh, there was one on the stairs. Grace, but I don't, I don't, I don't like that accusatory tone of yours, there, Nyla. 
Why would I well, try and capture your your uh, your pet? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, but I called my friend here uh, for the piece of fabric inside. Was it inside the car or outside the car? It was inside. Inside. Oh, the inside. Piece of fabric. Inside the car, the the purple piece of fabric that wasn't there when we arrived. Wait. So I wasn't wrong. Nada, what are you saying? S well, so it... you know, well, well, we, purple is a very color, a very pretty color, but not quite worn as often as those cultists love. They love their purple. They yeah. sure love it. And who else would go in our cart? Now, what are you insinuating here? That one of our crew is some sort of cultist? Yes. That's exactly what we're insinuating. I know I know that I know you that you heard my conversation with the captain earlier. Uh, didn't necessarily no, hear it. Didn't necessarily hear it, but I was informed. Well those very cultists seem to have the ones that I spoke of seem to have infiltrated your ship. Now, I'm, we're not accusing you of having a role in this, but clearly there is. It is Somebody. possible that at least one of your crew uh, is secretly sided with them without you or the others knowing. Uh, you say, like, Grace kind of like rubber temples, and she's like, I don't know what the captain charged you for passage, but. Whatever it was, it, I don't think it's enough. This is... Seems to be... You guys seem to be a lot more trouble than, than what this is worth. Well, the thing is, we we're kind of already trouble. out... We're kind of already out here in the middle of the ocean, so it's... I mean... You know. Maybe we can negotiate hazard pay once we arrive, but right now we have to deal with the problem at hand. Yeah. We've been sailing with most of these folks for a long time, so I, I can't imagine any of them wanting to do you harm. I, I know them all fairly well. I, what, what more evidence do you have than just a, a, a scrap of cloth here? I mean, that that could be from anything. Heck, you're... Is your hat purple, Nyla? No, it's blue. Oh, it's blue. I, my head has been purple this whole time. <laughs> Nyla hates Same. the color purple as much I, as she hates it's the trigger color. It makes me cast fireball by accident. <laughs> Please don't. Please no. <laughs> I mean, that could be from anything. I mean, yeah, it's but like it's the same material and it's the same purple. And why would someone try to snatch the weasel? Also a good question. I was told that she was shoved in a bag as I brought her back here. It... Your weasel can talk? Wizard things. <laughs> oh, yes, right. <laughs> she'll, look um... the, she'll look at the light emitting from your carrot. Wizard things. <laughs> well... Well, this There's is only on. one solution. What is that solution? We hey, must Brent? take. We must take. We must take the weasel, and go around to all the members of the crew, and one by one they must pet the weasel until she recognizes the hands that grabbed her. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. No, that's fair. Was it a potato sack? I mean, I mean, I'm assuming it was the potato sack that was on the stairs on our way down, but you know. Is there only one way down to the cargo? Uh, yes. Hmm. Have you seen anyone <laughs> on your way here, Grace? Uh, you see Grace kind of like thinking for a moment. She's like, ah. I think I passed somebody coming back up, but 
Uh, to be honest, I was rather absorbed in my notes here. I didn't pay that mm -hmm. much mind. Can I roll inside on that on yeah. your line? Yes. Oh. Sweet. Um, my not really specialty. Oh, sweet. Uh, you feel like she might not be telling the entire truth. Hmm. I don't know about that, Grace. I don't know about that. Don't know about what? I don't know about if you're being truthful or not. Honestly, uh, it was kind of spooky how you just, uh, appeared, but practically appeared behind me earlier, too. Well, it's my job to... I mean, as you should know your shit, but, you know. My job to... That was rather quick. To get around, you know? Gotta make sure everybody's doing their job. I wasn't if I wasn't quick on my feet, I wouldn't be first mate. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll just have to go around. Maybe we'll have to go straight to the captain with this information then. Yes, and make sure to tell him that Grace was here. I just, will. just so that they're fully aware of the situation. Hey, be my guest, I was going to go talk to the captain regardless whether you guys were or not. Well, if you want to tag along, feel free. Uh, however, the captain is sleeping right now, so... And they'll wake up. They'll wake up. We can wait. This can wait until the morning. It's not waiting. I wouldn't wake <laughs> the captain up. I, would I wouldn't wake any captain up. Uh, this... The... <laughs> Alaren is is very wise. It's best to let the captain sleep. No. I don't Nyla. Know. Nyla. Nyla. I, th I suppose we can. Um. <laughs> fine. But I got I got my eyes on you, Grace. <laughs> uh, and she's like, I'll have my eyes on you as well. Just Are you better? Kind of give you like a little like. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna make a few last notes on her clipboard, and then she's like, "Well, I'm gonna go above deck. I try not to cause too much trouble." Okay. I'm just, I'm just glaring. Uh, and she'll, 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 uh, she'll walk back away. <laughs> Okay, Nyla, so what exactly happened? Or what did... So you found a... A scrap of cloth. Right, I came here to get some sleep, opened the door, and inside there, I, I'll, like, open the door to, like, show Ibrin the, the scrap of cloth. Um, and it, it was right there, and I... I don't know, I instantly told... Hazelnut to go fetch uh, any of you, but I wasn't expecting all of you, but the more the better. At, um, at her, like, as you say your name, she's gonna, like, stand up very straight. <laughs> <laughs> Try to look like, yeah, just look very majestic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's the one, that's the, the, the hero of the situation. Um, but <laughs> on their way there, they did get captured they were shoved into a bag and i brought them back here and used ace to make them very very speedy which is why they were acting all over the place um to hopefully run away from any any attempt of capture but as they were on the way grace showed up out of nowhere uh with a, a clipboard trying to be not suspicious at all. So um, Ebrin, so Ebrin's gonna like pick up the scrap of cloth. Is it like? Is it very obviously like 
Because we've seen so many of those purple robes before. It, Is it very obviously like a part of the robes? It. I mean, it's hard to tell because it's just like a, it. It looks like it's just been torn off. It looks like it got like stuck on like the corner of the edge of like a seat or something. Um, mm -hmm. But it does look like of that very familiar shade of purple. Okay. But other than that, there's there's no real indication that it. You know, I mean, it could be any purple scrap of cloth. No okay, case, Steve. And it's gonna <laughs> take it and, and turn back to Nyla. <laughs> now, Nyla, <laughs> I don't disagree with you that Grace is being suspicious, but based on our circumstances, we have to be tactful. Right. For one, for one, we don't know who on the crew. <laughs> could possibly be involved, or more importantly, how many. For all we know, the in the entire crew could be cultists in disguise. I don't know. Well, it, it could be. It could be. I the mean, they that could we... be. That's what I'm saying. If we, we don't have any way of knowing. Mm. So, I don't know. The, the well, way they know who we are now. What's suspicious? I think our best bet is to just lay low for now. And stay together as a group. And let's see what happens. Yeah. Alright, the sooner that we get off this boat, the better. How, how long before we arrive? One more day? Or is it like tomorrow afternoon? Uh, Probably about another day. Oh. I hate Ugh. this boat. Well, fine. But I'll be spending most of my time in here. Um, even though it's not really safe. Um, well, it's it's better than nothing. <coughs> this, might... <coughs> this, might... This, might... this might be the perfect opportunity to use your alarms as well on the wagon. Oh, of course, of course. I, I was about to cast it as I opened the door, but I got a little bit sidetracked. I suggest we all stay down here tonight. Find room to lay down. I'm crawling in. Getting in the wagon, making myself cozy. I can... I don't know if it's still light at this point, but I can see down here, so... I don't know how light it is, otherwise. Uh, it's it's uh it's pretty dark down here at night. Okay. I can uh, keep watch for a little while. Just in case. I can take second watch then. Since we're doing watches, I suppose I'll I'll do I'll do my own and take third watch. I just don't trust the boat anymore. Understandable. Let's get some sleep done. Ready time. Uh, alright. You, know, you guys settle in for the night. Uh, you know, you guys hear the familiar sounds of the ship kind of creaking. Um, <clears throat> everything is silent. Um, aside from, you know, a few footsteps up above on the main deck of the, of the night, the night watch. Uh, taking turns, keeping track of things. Um, so first watch goes by. Pretty smooth. Uh, who who is taking second watch? That would be uh, Varian. Varian. Okay, uh, Varian. Something peculiar happens during your watch. Mm. You feel like the ship has stopped moving. Jeez. 
Um, how long does this kind of feeling go? Uh, for about like half an hour. Oh, okay. Um, honestly, if it goes past, like probably once it hits like the probably ten minute mark, I I would kind of go and um wake up Ebron. Mm. And boat's been stopped for about roughly 10 minutes now. Like, full on stopped. Uh, 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 yeah, <laughs> that's understandable. Uh, I knew something was gonna happen. Yeah. I'll, go, <laughs> I'll go wake the others if you want to start getting ready. Yeah. And I'll wake up uh, Alan and Nyla. <laughs> What? We've been stopped for about 10 minutes, like full on stopped. Ah, oh, oh. fuck. Yeah. When, what do you think that means, Mr. Boatman? Laren's up already. Either. One, we've been boarded. Two, the crew's planning something. Uh, and just stopping the boat to just kill us. Um, War 3, we are hitting such tremendous um, backlash from the waves that we're not moving, uh, even though we would really be fucking feeling it right now if that was the case. Well, surely if we'd been boarded, there would have been quite a commotion, right? We would have heard something. Unless it was planned. Uh... Well, well, let's go take a peek, I suppose. Stay together. I'm casting Mage Armor on myself, Steve. Okay. I'm drawing oh, my man. drawing pants. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> Don't mess with sleepy people. <laughs> um, I assume we're heading up to kind of the top deck. Yeah. Yo. Uh, Uh, as you guys head to the top deck, um, there is a little bit of a commotion. Uh, you see Grace kind of, like, storming out, um, like, kind of from where the, the cabins are. Down below, she, like, storms up the ladder or whatever, uh, or the stairs, uh, and she's like, she's like, why, why are we stopped? Why are we off course? Um, and you guys, as you guys kind of come up, you'll notice you guys are, like, a little closer to the shore. You should be. Um, and uh, <clears throat> one of the crewmen will be like, ah, I, we, we thought we saw something in the water. Uh, so we stopped, but uh, we, we thought we saw a body. Uh, it, it appears to be nothing. Uh, Grace is like, ah, oh, God, God damn it. Just get some get some lights. Uh, and you see like the... There's a, just like people running about, like lighting torches and kind of like trying to shine down in the water, just to double check. At least it's not worth being boarded. Then that's obviously boarded. That that would have been worst case scenario. Yeah. Okay. Should we take a look or? Oh, for sure, yes. Okay, I was gonna be like, oh, do you want to leave it to them and just let them do a scruffle? Mm, no, let's see what's going on. Uh, uh, Ebron will slowly, you know, ascend to the main deck. Uh, Grace will immediately see you guys come up. Uh, <clears throat> she'll kind of storm over to you. Uh, I'll be like, is this? Does this have anything to do with you? Well, we don't, we, don't, we don't know what's we going don't know on. What's going on? We came to see where the ship had come to a halt. Uh, and she'll kind of like count to make sure that you guys are all here present. Um, <clears throat> she's like, I, uh, they think they think they saw somebody over, uh, possibly go overboard. <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm gonna have to, to to do a head count, see if we're missing anyone. 
That sounds like a good plan. Oh, sorry. Late night. Clementine, what, how are you? What can we do to help? I just, uh, you know, keep, keep watch, keep watch over the over, over the side of the ship, I suppose. See if there truly is anybody there. If this, you know, the sea is playing tricks on on uh, night crew's eyes. Oh, okay. Uh, she'll she'll kind of like she'll she'll run off and like come back with like this uh, long list. It looks like a, a a roster of names in a quill, and she'll start checking names off the list. She you better walk to the railing and, and kind of peer over. Uh, as you peer over, you will notice immediately that one of the lifeboats is missing. And the ropes have been cut. I'm going to peer over the other side that Ebron's not going to. Uh, you don't see, uh, you don't see anything. You see the, the crashing waves against the side of the ship. Okay. Uh, how dark is it? Yeah, it's, it's like, it's dark. It's probably like midnight. Woo, dark vision. Abrin's gonna look around for Nyla. Uh, that'd be easy to find, you know, uh, glowy carrot. <laughs> yeah, the, the carrot's still glowing. Of course, as soon as we leave, I'll, I'll, I'll just cast it because it's like so dark. Nyla, over here. I'll be heading over Humblewood. with my broom in hand. Oh, good, you have the broom. Always bring the broom. I need you to do something. And what would that be? Is it? I was thinking of, you know, casting light on the broom and searching for that body. But what is I, it then? We need to find our our allies there in the water. Ask them what they've seen, or what they know of the missing lifeboat. Our allies in the water. Our fish. Our fish friends. Oh. If they are indeed still following us, I can I can try I can try to do that, and I'll instead of this the carrot, the... I'll cast light on the broom itself. So it's like a big glow stick. Okay, yeah, the, the, the broom light up. All right. Well, I'll I'll try to find them, and I'll get on the broom and right away start like ritual casting comprehend language as I swoop down maybe like 10 feet above the water to like not too close in case there's a wave that crashes into me as you uh, as you swoop down you see a few people like kind of shout in alarm thinking that you're going overboard <laughs> uh, Ebr Ebron Ebron will kind of like rush over to them and like reassure them that that she's fine she's hey. helping help, that she's helping to look <laughs> Uh, Grace kind of sees it and she just like sort of shakes her head at you guys and is just going to continue like checking names off the roster. Uh, <clears throat> Nyla, as you kind of like swoop around the waves, uh, you'll see one of the fish people come up to greet you. Like, <laughs> uh -huh. as, as one fish type person does, a common <laughs> greeting. <laughs> I, oh I man! It's a ritual cast. It's, <laughs> it's not prepared. Yeah, so you know, after after ten <laughs> after ten <laughs> minutes, yeah, uh, you, you just like <laughs> you just like oh, like uh, yeah, careful, careful of the waves. I I'm staying I'm staying above them. No worries. I I came I come here for information. However, uh, there was talk that. They saw a corpse in the water, which is why the boat stopped, but... Um... What was the other thing? An ally? The, the lifeboat. Oh, the lifeboat, the lifeboat, yes, yes. Uh, there's a lifeboat missing. Have you seen Have you seen a tiny boat roll uh, away from, from the bigger boat? Uh, he'll, he'll kind of like nod. He's like, small, small boat! Uh, which shore? 
emotional gesture. And how long how long was that ago? Was it was it ten minutes, fifteen minutes, an hour ago? Uh it's just kinda of like shrug. It's like uh three thirty minutes? Thirty fantasy minutes. <laughs> Do you think in thirty minutes they could have made it to shore? Uh uh, it's a small boat, uh, a naturally, very fast. Strange. Is that a yes? I suppose that's a yes, right? Yes. Hmm. Well, have, a good have, night you, seen, have you seen someone overboard, not in a boat? Uh, small boat, uh, then man, <laughs> then fish, then man again. Very strange. <laughs> You mean on the boat? Mm, boat first, then man. Oh. Then and man then. was a fish, and then a man again. Trash boy! Oh. <laughs> I have to write it down. Fish man? Fish man. Oh. Here we go. Alright. No, no. Regular man, then fish, then man again. The man again. Oh, okay. Strange, okay. strange it, magics. It is. It it sounds very strange. Trust me. Uh, what, and all of this was in the water. Like you know, the the man fished and man again <laughs> was in the water. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm we see man fall. Uh, we swim to save. Uh, then man. I think fish. We see fish jump in boat. Then man. Oh. Oh, so the fishman yeah. returned to the boat and became men once more. Uh, yeah, you see the fishman kind of like nod. He's like, yeah, you're getting it. Oh, oh, I get it, I get it. I thought you meant saw you saw a man, then a fish, then a man in the water. I was very confused. Um, can you describe? Do you have you seen the man? And when he returned the boat to the boat, can you describe them to me? <clears throat> uh, hard to see. Very dark. Uh, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, human human men. Who's human man? Human man. Yeah, I'll I'll try to keep that in mind. Then I I thank you. I'll and I'll you. fly away. I'm returning to Ebrin. And the fishman will kind of die below water. <laughs> um, flying back to Ebrin. I'll, I won't. I won't jump off the the, the the broom just yet. It's pretty comfortable. Um, I I've talked to one of the fish people. Um, they did mention the boat that they were pretty fast, small <laughs> fast boat that they returned to shore. So I have, and it's been thirty minutes ago. So I have no chance of like catching up or anything like that. But they did mention that uh, a man became a fish. <laughs> <laughs> then the fish person mm -hmm. returned onto the boat to become men once more. Hmm. So we have an intruder? Question mark. Maybe they smell bad. Maybe they smell fishy. But or we could try to find someone talking with as well. That could also work. But. They did mention that there were once a man that became fish man, then men once more, once they were on the boat. On the lifeboat. On the lifeboat or on the main boat? Is that a question for me? I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Did they mean the main boat? Uh, the lifeboat. The life oh, I thought they'd like climb back onto the main boat, mm -hmm. becoming man. Oh, well, never mind. Let's scratch that. But point is that they're gone. But I haven't seen any, like, bodies in the water. They, the fish people did mention that they saw him, but he became fish. And it, was, it was a very confusing conversation. So do we think that there's a 
an infiltrator in disguise here ship. Uh, I'll see the, the I have a feeling that. it was the person that left. Yes, but there could be more. But there could be more. Doesn't mean there's one here. Maybe they all left if there was multiple, but... I would say that they're possibly gone. I don't know why they would be here unless we're... We got something stolen. Information, I suppose. Uh, as you guys are having this talk, uh, <clears throat> Grace will kind of be going around the ship, being like, "Has anybody seen Crag?" Uh, did you see like different sailors like shaking their head no, they haven't seen him. She seems to like be frantically looking. Well, I don't Crag. know if they'll great. She doesn't like me, so. I don't know if she would believe us even if we told her. And that is a very wild story. Well, I mean, she could see the lifeboats cut. That's very good. Always... Yeah, I'm sure she could come to that I decision. mean, I don't know if... Come to the... I'm sure she could come to that conclusion on her own. Well, I don't know. She's been looking for people. I don't know if she's... Anybody's told her about the lifeboat. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll tell her now. <laughs> Even though... Kind of gesture to Grace. Uh, as you get her attention, you'll see she's kind of got like a wild look in her eye. Like she's... She, like this is this is very unusual. Uh, you know, she's like potentially missing a person like under her watch. Uh, she'll, she'll come over to you and she's like, what, what is it? I, I, I'm very busy right now. It appears that one <clears throat> of the life puts has been cut loose. What? And she'll she'll take a look uh, and she'll like pull the rope that that used to, that you, like to look at the severed end. And she's like, what what in the gods is is happening aboard the ship? Uh, were you able to complete a head count? Seem to be missing uh so far just one person. Um. Uh, it's just one of the. A sailor by the name of Crag. Hmm. Well. <clears throat> I mean, lifeboat's gone, person's gone. I, would, I haven't checked everywhere just yet. Uh. uh we did go... Nyla, you saw Nyla fly off with the broom, right? Um, she went to talk. There's, um, uh, with the the fish people again. They said they saw somebody um fall into the water, but also take the lifeboat uh, to shore. They didn't get a good look at the person. It's very dark, but <clears throat> I can't. Can't imagine somebody jumping into the water after a lifeboat. I. That's as much as I was able to really understand. From what Nyla told me. None of this. None of this is. None of this is adding up. You... I don't know. It's very peculiar. I agree. Sir, because I feel like you guys are a bad omen for the ship. Sooner we get to Arbinson, the better. Uh, she's like, I, I'm gonna go check down below, see if Craig's down there. Uh, okay. She kind of like runs off, continuing to see if she can find uh, this 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 feller. Thank you so much for watching. And again, we are playing this live on Twitch, so if you ever want to see any of this unfold as it happens, uh, come drop by the stream. Also, all of our players are fellow streamers, and if you like what you heard, please go check them out. They are all absolutely fantastic folks. I'll have links to their Twitch pages down in the description below as well. Uh, thanks again, and I hope to catch you all next time. Have a good one.